Good morning and welcome to Sunnyside News where we bring you the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Sunnyside News is sponsored by Nature's Place, home of the Key Network and the Speech Therapy Clinic. Today is Friday, July 15th, 2016. I would like to welcome everyone to today's program. The first good news item that I would like to share with you comes all the way from Asia, actually, and I want to tell you about Dr. Third Kai Javakti, who is a veterinarian with the Friends of the Asian Elephant Foundation. Now, Masha, who is an Asian elephant, stepped on a landmine when she was just seven months old and lost one of her legs. Well, Masha is now eight years old and she is being fitted for her fourth prosthetic leg. That's right, fourth. Now, the veterinarian stated that as she has grown, they have had to replace her prosthetic devices. He also stated that Masha was a little cautious to put weight on her limb at first, but has since gotten very used to using it and now she gets around just famously. If she had not been fitted with a new prosthetic device, her spine would actually have started curving and this would have been very fatal and she would have eventually died. So what a great news item that is, I think. Moving along, I would like to tell you about Samaya McLaughlin. She is living in Detroit. Now she recently turned nine years old and she got some money for her birthday, but she took her birthday money and bought lunch for some of her local police officers after she saw what happened to police in Dallas. She stated that she wanted to thank the officers for all that they do. Hats off to you, Samaya. The next story I would like to share with you comes from Queens, New York, where a group of elementary school children this past year began making capes for other children. Now, the children that they were making the capes for are actually homeless. And it is part of the Capes for Kids initiative. Now, some of the students decorated the capes with crowns and some with smiley faces and flowers. And it was just a great way for all to learn and also to realize they are doing something that is very empowering for other children. What a great school project. The next news item I would like to share with you actually comes from Tennessee. Now, living here in Central Florida where it's the world theme park destination, we hear cutting edge news about theme parks all the time. But this development comes from Dollywood where they have recognized that a trip to a theme park for a person who has an autistic spectrum disorder can be a nightmare full of lights and sounds and smells and just a general sensory overload. Well, Dollywood now offers a calming room where those with sensory issues can go and calm themselves whenever the need arises. The room has low sensory toys, glowing lights, and a teepee tent. And it's the first of its kind in the world, a spokeswoman for Dollywood has said. So let's see how long it takes the other theme parks to catch on. You know, just some interesting information. I'm sure that we all use Q-tips. Now, Q-tips were invented in 1923 by Leo Gerstenzang to replace the way his wife was cleaning their baby's ears. She was taking a toothpick and putting a cotton ball on top of that. Yikes. But the name Q-tip. Now, did you ever wonder what the Q stands for in Q-tip? It actually stands for quality. So now you know. I would like to share with you the events coming up this weekend here in the Ridge area. Um, tonight, July 15th, you can go to the Dive In movie at the City of Lakeland's Pool. This is from 7 to 9 p.m. And you can swim and you can watch a movie at the same time. Now you can get further information about this by calling 863-834-6000. Also happening on the 15th is Discovery in the Garden at Bach Tower. Now this is for art, science, cooking, and gardening. You can get further information on this by calling 863-676-1408. Happening on July 16th, I know we're in the middle of the summer, but you can go to public ice skating at the Lakeland Center. Now this is an indoor rink and it's open to all ages. The price is $10 to get in. You can get further information by calling 863-834-8100. As usual, I would like to end today's program with a nice quote for you and that goes, happiness often sneaks in through a door you didn't know you left open. And that was said back in the day by John Barrymore. So that is our program for today, July 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Go out, have a great weekend, try to stay cool, and join me again next week for another edition of Sunnyside News. Bye for now.